staple for many college students. Most students rely on the instant caffeine fix to help them carry out their hectic schedules. However, most are unaware of the process behind producing the coffee. Fair trade is a market approach that aims to help farmers in developing countries make better trading conditions and promote sustainability. The University of Tennessee offers students convenient choices to indulge in the liquid energy, including an on-campus Starbucks, a Dunkin' Donuts, and Einstein Brothers. However, these establishments usually offer one or two fair trade options. Though these establishments are flooded with college students the majority of the time, another coffee shop sits right on the edge of campus and is offering more than the average cup of joe. For over 10 years, the Golden Rose has been a haven for students and professors looking for a less hectic environment to enjoy their coffee. The coffee shop is also an alternative for some students who prefer to invest in fair trade brands. I think that students probably go with what's more convenient. Um, the university doesn't really care about getting fair trade sources. Um, all of our food is brought in by Aramark and they're notoriously evil, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, and I think that, I mean, just look at the lines at Starbucks and Einstein Brothers. I think that kids aren't really thinking about that. I mean, there are students that worry about it, but Starbucks offers, I think, at least one fair trade brew, so they might occasionally choose that. But on the whole, I don't think they really think about it. Though the majority of the coffee sold at the Golden Roast is fair trade, founder and owner Alan Ziegel said it is impossible to sell it exclusively. About 80%. Some coffees I cannot get in fair trade, but just the countries just don't don't do the certification. Okay. That's real hard to find. Ziegel believes that fair trade is a benefit, but said there are still some faults with the production. He believes that direct trade is a better option for farmers. I don't get as many questions about fair trade as I used to. Is it, you know, when fair trade first started happening, it was a it was a real green thing to do, a real you know a real real progressive thing. It's changing a little bit. You know, people are not real certain about about the certification of fair trade, whether it's whether it's a real good deal for the farmers or not. Because some people feel that feel that all the, the money, the extra money we spend for the coffee is not getting directly to the farmer. It's going to the to the people who are processing the coffee. You know, the, the, the farmer sells his coffee to a processing company and he doesn't make any more money and that's, that was really the whole reason behind fair trade is to do that. I mean, what's happening now is more what they call direct trade. It's uh, my importer is, is one of the one of the importers who who goes directly to the farmers or directly to the co-ops and makes sure that they get a they get a, a decent wage for their for their coffee. That they they bypass the exporter, the in country exporter. And go straight to the to the farmers or the, or the co-ops, pay them directly. Which, which to me, is is as good or better than the, than fair trade because they, they know that the farmers getting the money at that point. Though the issues surrounding fair trade are still being debated, some students still choose to bypass the idea and simply purchase coffee at the most convenient location. But I go to Starbucks, Einstein's. Um, that's, yeah, usually those two places, those two places. Um, I like the coffee here and at Einstein's, and it's also really convenient. It's probably more convenience than anything else.